<laughs> I swear I make myself laugh every single time I do that. I'm like, um, so, hey, goodness, I think it's been two weeks since I've been live. Maybe it hasn't. It just might feel like it's been two weeks. How are you? How is everything? Like, how have you been? I know some of you I haven't seen in years. I'm seeing some of you pop on. Um, how have you been? What's up? <laughs> hey, Daryl. Um, so, you know, what I wanted to talk about today, something that came up for me, especially with this bad boy coming into the picture, is, you know, when you take a huge leap of faith in life and then bang, like, bam, like, what, let me just knock you down. Let, like, the universe, you feel like the universe doesn't have your back, right? Like, something is happening constantly. Hey, Zach, how goes it? Wow, it's been forever. <laughs> So it's this weird idea, like we're so excited, we're terrified, right? We finally jump off the off the ledge almost. You know, we, we jump out of the airplane like we're skydiving. We're ready to take the huge leap of faith. We're in the midst of the first step, the first leap of faith. We're going, getting ready to take step two and step three. And for some reason, life throws us curveballs. And so, you know, I wanted to talk to you guys about this today, um, especially, you know, um, in relation to a lot of the things that I'm talking with and going through with my clients right now. Um, I have, you know, a few new clients, and it's so funny to me that when we take the first leap of faith in, you know, getting our lives together, being better at adulting, becoming the person we want to become. We're like, hey, hey, universe, hey, I'm going to do this now. Like, I know I said I was going to do it for like the last 10 years, but like, I'm finally going to do it. So, <laughs> right. And then all of a sudden, so you sign up for the program or you start going to the gym or you start eating healthy or you start dancing a lot, like dancing in a park. That was one of my weird ones, right? And then the universe throws you extra expenses that you didn't see coming. Or you your hours get cut at work. Or you get hit with a health issue and you feel depressed and you feel like you want to eat again, right? You get hit with shot after shot. And isn't that so funny? And a lot of us, we end up going right back to our comfort zone. We go, oh, that's the universe just telling us that we shouldn't be taking this leap of faith, that we shouldn't be listening to our hearts. But you know what it actually is? This trial and tribulation that is happening to you when you take the leap of faith is actually the universe or God or whatever challenging you and saying, hey, hey, you, are you ready? Are you sure you want to do this? I want to make you as strong as possible so that you can really step into your goals and step into your dreams and step into the person that you want to be. So it's not necessarily about, you know, the, the goal itself. The first step, we think the first step might be to, oh, you know what, I'm going to go um, to the grocery store and buy all of, all of this, you know, food, or I'm going to throw away all the food in my cabinet. But actually, the first step might be, oh, hey, you want to start eating healthy? How about let's start dealing with those emotional eating habits? How about a breakup? Right? And when we think the steps are a certain way, the universe is like, hey, no, let me make you stronger. Let me build those muscles. Let me show you where the weaknesses are, where the cracks are, so that you can develop into a stronger more stable person so that you have motivation to become the person you want to become. I know, you know, I have, you know, clients that are artists, right? And um, so they come from a creative background. They want to make their world more financially abundant. And so they've got, you know, the bartending job, they've got this job, they've got that job. And so they sign up for the program and then something drops. A job's gone. The hours are cut etc cetera, etc cetera. there's two things with that one there's the motivation to get your own artistic career your arts career off the ground and two the universe is just making sure you've got some extra time to spend on your dreams and goals and aspirations but instead a lot of us instead of seeing that as oh those are the two things that you know we needed the more time we needed more time and we needed the motivation to get to where we wanted to go instead we go into a place of scarcity a place of 
scared of fear and we say, oh, I can't do this right now. It's not the right time. Absolutely, it's not the right time. I'm terrified. Or, you know, I say, here's a good, here's another example. I um, stopped, I started uh, going to the, I started going to yoga very regularly. I joined a studio, I started doing this, and I was like, this is great, this is amazing. And I take a fall off my bike. Okay, so I have all of these goals for my own life outside of yoga. I've got, I've got my business. I've got my health. I've got my relationships. I've got, you know, all of these different things all aligned. I've got like the physicality, the um, strength that I want to build. I've got all sorts of things, self-care tactics. And the universe was like, hey, spend a little too, too much time doing yoga, you think? Or... Are you sure you're not focusing on the wrong things when you're there? Or, you know, so take helping you and saying, hey, you say you want to get your business off the ground. Why don't you spend a little more time here? It's okay to take a little break from here. Let me shift your focus for you. And not that those other things are bad for us. They're definitely not. And they're definitely key in a balanced life, right? But where is... It's, it's all about where our focus is constantly. Where are we constantly shifting to create balance for ourselves? So you take a huge leap of faith. It crushes you, right? Sometimes it does. Sometimes stuff comes up. You lose the job. You get the, you know, the injury. You go through a breakup. You go through crap, right? You go through some shiza. But that is the universe making you stronger. That is God making you stronger and making you, making sure that you're ready. The question is, are you ready to become the person that you know you're destined to become? Are you sure? Are you ready to put in the work in the, through the long haul? Or is this just a maybe, another maybe, another kind of, I kind of want to be skinny. I kind of want to lose weight. I kind of want to have a successful business. I kind of want to be a yogi. I kind of want to quit this job. The universe throws things at you so that you become the person that knows I for sure, damn right I am doing this. I don't care what is coming my way. I have the determination. So a really great example of this. Hey, hey you, I've got something going on. But instead of just not showing up to yoga for four weeks, what I did was I emailed my instructor and said, hey, if I showed up to yoga, if I showed up for this self-care routine, could I, you know, would we be able to work something out? And the answer was, yeah, we'll, we will figure out a routine that could work for you. You may not be able to come to class. You can't put pressure through your one hand, right? But you might be able to do, you can, totally can do all of these other things that are going to help you grow in your practice and in your life. So it's the determination. It's not this thing happened to me, I'm gonna give up now. It's, this thing happened to me, now I have to have a creative approach. I'm gonna build, I'm gonna flex my muscles, I'm gonna become stronger, I'm gonna fill in that gap of trial and tribulation because it is not a, a compelling story, life story, if we don't have some struggle in there and we don't become strong, if we don't lift the weights, if we don't do the heavy lifting that the universe is throwing at us. So. You take a huge leap of faith. Why does the universe throw these things at you? To make you stronger, to make sure that you are determined and have the level of focus to build your dreams, go after the dream life that you want the right way. Not the I kind of want to do this or I kind of want to do that. The this is what I am and this is what I want to become and it is going to be my reality. So anyway, I wanted to talk about that um, in relation to a lot of the things that are going on, you know, with my clients, with my own personal life, um, you know, with all of the things that that seem to be coming up. I guess it's this time of the year. Um, but I wanted to make sure that if you feel like you just took a leap and it's not working out, maybe it's good. or if you, you're thinking about taking a leap and you're scared. Know that there might be some trial, there might be some difficult times, but that 
is part of the plan. That is part of helping you grow and become the person that you are destined to be. So anyway, if you if you took a leap of faith or if you're if you're planning on take, taking one and you're a little, you know, fearful or a little nervous, um, hey, Laris, how are you? Um, <laughs> if you are, you know, in that space where you want to take the leap or you just did and now you've got a bunch of crap coming up, I would love, love, love to talk to each and every one of you. Um, I've got the link in the description. Schedule an appointment because I think, I think that helping you, I think that taking the leap of faith is so, so, so important to becoming the person you want to be. And I don't think that fear or anxiety or any of that should stop you from being that person. So anyway, that's my ramble, my spiel for the day. Thank you guys so much for spending time and um, hopefully I'll see you around soon.